Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's a brisk 40 degrees at Gathering at the Rock this morning, but I mean, that sun's gonna be great. There's hot rods here. I got to follow Colby through with the uh, St. Christopher this morning, along with the other contenders that were up for a hot rod of the year. It's an amazing event. Every, I've been here every year and you always figure, how can they do one better? Uh, there's a Sloniker winner, a, Riddler, a past Riddler winner, AMBR cars, uh, hot rods of the year. Jason's builder of the year for good guys this year. And uh, I think I'm just gonna stop talking and start showing you guys how awesome the show is. Pretty excited to be here. It's gonna be a great weekend. And uh, we'll have two videos, one from the cruise the day before, and then now we'll be here at the show today. So we'll expect two videos from us. Uh, I'm walking down now to try and catch cars coming in. Hope you guys enjoy the video and mark your calendars for next year for Gathering at the Rock. Can't miss event. It's probably one of the best on the planet. It's still my favorite show. Sorry, Gary Case and Bobby Alloway. Triple Crown was close this year, but this is still the best show on the planet that I get to go to. Reminds me of the Lone Star Roundup from back in the day. But uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, I'm gonna start uh, checking out some cars.
How's that heater this morning? Uh, Good morning. morning. Great to see this thing out here. That's a beauty. How about that drive this morning? Nice, yeah. Yep. Yeah, you guys will love it. Wait till you see the museum.
Morning, morning. It's almost like Minnesota here, isn't it? Nice, beautiful day for a cruise, right? Wonderful. It's a balmy 41. Yep. Hey, at least the wind's not blowing. <laughs> yeah, that crosswind up yesterday coming yeah. back. It's done it here before where the wind's blown, it's been cold in the morning, you're like, yeah, nah, I'm good. Yeah. It's yeah. Oklahoma, wait five minutes. Yeah, see you guys in. Yep. Not stop. Yep, that's okay. me. Oh. Wouldn't have missed it. Good, good job on the oh, thank you, sir. You don't want to run your film with a red car, you know. Whatever. It'll be fine. Morning, morning. Beautiful roaster weather, right? What? Yeah, it's top down weather. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it is above cold. Yep. Morning, morning.
morning, sir. Morning, sir. Nice to see this thing out. Morning, morning. morning. Good day, not to drive. Good morning. Good morning. Beautiful car.
parking spot up there, so yeah. You'll see your other top five buddies up there, so. How's roadster weather today? No. No? But you're from, but you're from Michigan though. <laughs> How are we going, guys? Thank you, sir. I did not even see you in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the one wearing a camouflage jacket. <laughs>
to win this than have to carry it around right, back exactly. over to wars, did you? <laughs> so I figured I would just turn it into like a Flav of Flav. There you go. You know, I tell you, dude, you gotta get a gold and, chain. He's going yeah. to plane with it. So, congrats, dude. No, thank you yep. so much. Yep. We didn't know how it was going to work, uh, if we were going to fit everybody in. We had a few didn't show, just things happen, and we understand that, but um, we got y'all in here, and I think, I think it looked pretty good today. But we thank you guys. So, yeah, give yourselves a hand for making the journey. So 500 entries, my wife has kept a spreadsheet, 88% of you guys are from out of state. So that's incredible. It's like nine out of ten cars are not even from Oklahoma. That shows you something. <laughs> they are today. So we uh, we're just proud to be able to show off a little part of our state here in this wonderful facility, and uh, just just host something like this. Everybody keeps coming up and telling us thank you for for having this and for doing this. And really, Brandon and I and our families, we just. We just give you a place to have it, but all you guys showing up is what's made this what it is. So, um, thank you again for that. Now, yeah, thank you. So we're going to start out. We've got uh, we've done it in the past, and we've got uh, we got two recipients this year. So Jack Chisenhall and John Barrett started uh, the Stroker McGurk Award or recognition. And Tom Medley was a great hot rodder, you guys may know. He did uh, fabulous illustrations. He was a hot rodder for his entire life. So Jack Chisholm Hall uh, and John started this uh, recognition for guys that are just real hometown hot rod guys that have, that have lived it their whole life and, and, and been around it their whole life. And so we got two recipients this year uh, I'm going to let John introduce the first one, and then uh, then I'll take the second one. And then, so we're going to get these guys recognized, and we're going to, uh, the first trophy we're going to give after these recognitions, we're going to hand it over to Mr. John Jackson, and uh, he's, as you may or may not know, decided to do a, a, a trophy for the best trophy. So we're going to do that. But first, we're going to recognize these two hot rod fellas here. And I'm going to turn this over to John Barry. This is the cartoon right here. Tony, thank you very much. Right, thank you, John. I just want to say that it's the builders of these cars and events like this that make all this worthwhile. Appreciate everybody that's involved. Thanks. Thank you. There's at least uh, a lot of He bought this car in 1968, and his 1967 high school uh, tassel is hanging from the from the mirror. Here. A couple of cool things about this car. Um, he his his uh, beloved wife Gloria 
uh, he taught her how to drive in this car. And then they dated in this car and got married. Charlie brought two of his kids home from the hospital in this car. And so we wanted to present him with the uh, Stroke and Regret Award. We appreciate it, Charlie. Who's the first oh, one? We're going to let here. John do his thing. All right. John Jackson. Not stock photography. You may have heard of him. I don't know. Maybe you haven't. You probably have. Um, he's probably, like, showed up at your house in the middle of the day or the night at some point and stole power, plugged in an extension cord. <laughs> right. Anyway, I think everybody's pretty familiar with this guy and his wife, JC, and we are thrilled that they're here. And uh, he's come up with this weird idea to give a best trophy for the trophies. So, with fur without further ado, here you go. All right. Did everybody have a good time this weekend? Yeah. yeah. I thought this was and turned out nice, right? Yeah. So, all right. For one, I'm not going to talk that much, and I know no one believes that. But I got to do one thing first. I don't know if you all saw these stickers for hashtag DATR or bus for next year. So, this is all became because. Alan that works for Steve Cook Creations and working on Impala for 10 years, we'll say that. And I've been messing with him since day one of coming to Gathering at the Rock that if he gets that to the show, I'll bring my Corvair van back out. And if you all don't know, I used to drive a Corvair van across country instead of a Sprinter van. And I put 170,000 miles on in just a little over four years. But it's been sitting at my buddy's shop in Houston. Well, Alan came up to me several months ago and goes, hey, I'm gonna have my Impala, that's Gator or Bus for next year. And I'm like, well great, now I've gotta get my Corvair van ready. So starting today, it's GATR or Bus for uh, next year. And we hope everybody else that's working on a project can help join us and start using the same hashtag. And uh, even if you can't make it into the show, come hang out, do the reliability run, hang out at the hotel, have a good time and enjoy the show with us. But without further ado, we'll do uh, trophy for trophy. So uh, I'm gonna grab this. If you haven't seen it, we did a belt buckle last year. And I'd like, like to take the credit for this, but this has Eric Black's artwork on it that he was so kind enough to send me. And then I sent it to a silversmith in uh, New Braunfels, Texas, who made this belt buckle. And uh, for this year, um, last year, Corey Talbert won with the cowboy hat he won, that he did. And then we also did a lifetime achievement award for Steve Cook because the first two years we didn't have a trophy for best trophy. And uh, this came about because I opened my mouth too much and said to Brandon, hey, you guys should do a trophy or best trophy. And they go, yeah, you should. So that's why we have this. So this is definitely the toughest year and I would have much rather pick, yeah. I would? Well, we'll talk about that later. So, but, uh, but no, so, but, um, but yeah, so this is the toughest year I've had to do, and last year was really tough. And um, I actually incorporated and had Alan help me pick this year, so believe it or not, that flathead is no, not eligible because they won the Lifetime Achievement Award. They said it would be great to give someone else a chance because if you haven't seen that flathead, Alan did all that by hand. So also keep in mind, when Alan's Impala shows up next year and my Corvair van shows up next year, we're not showing against each other because his is going to be way nicer than mine. But uh, without further ado, with all these great trophies, um, we're going to give it to Jason for his uh, great <laughs> And also, your 2023 Good Guys Iron Donor of the Year as well, so give him a, a, a good uh, applause for that too. But awesome creeper, man. Yeah. The thing of creepers, here's my... <laughs> Inside job for the creeper. <laughs> that's weak. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful, man. Who do we have up here? 4 to 1 view? This is Big Wolf. Kansas. Um, what we did, we selected a 1941 Buick, um, traditional custom that's owned by Jake Christmas. Um, All right. So classy, so classy. 
wanted to thank you for this. Uh, we worked really hard on this car. Uh, we finished it Thursday night, and uh, we drove here Friday morning. Wow. Awesome. We wanted to make it to this show. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats. started last Saturday night, or last year, uh, enjoying the uh, recap of the great week last year. And I think Brandon and I came up with an idea to do something for this year, and that's what we got here. That's the uh, Talbert Two-Step, pair of 3 printed aluminum cowboy boots. I don't even own any cowboy boots, so I had Brandon ship me his so I could 3D scan them. And, uh, they, they may be life size and maybe slightly scaled down. I'll let you They look about right to me. So, um, anyways, about the car here, um, Neil Jennings 32 four door, um, really a classic, elegant car. Um, you know, I, I think Neil himself um, has developed a build style that's, if you see a, a Jennings built car, you recognize it. Um, restraint, uh, extreme detail. Uh, especially the engine bay too, if you see in this car. Um, so really a great car that Ash and I thought was deserving of this pick. Um, but I also want to go on and say, you know, Neil and his family as well. Um, we probably would need a few people to count how many steering boxes that Neil has built that are probably at the show. So I think, uh, you know, we're, we're very thankful to have Neil um, providing that service to everybody um, as well as the rest of his family as well. So. Neil, come get it. Congrats, Neil. Great car. didn't notice this trophy of here this it's incredible the cylinder head with all this beautiful work wow. so Alan uh, I mean this this whole crew right here is just talent beyond belief you got Mikey and Steve and Alan and so the culmination of those guys and they've had a couple other friends a machinist guy and another guy that did some woodwork for them and I mean that's just stunning so you guys go present that to Mark congrats Uh, thank you. So there's a, a little history here I'll throw out to you real quick. This car has a little Tulsa history. Um, there's a few of us guys that, uh, that worked on this thing. I know Clint Green's here. Look at Sam Rambo's uh, here, I think. <laughs> Chopped it. I uh, painted it. Uh, Tim Gerbard did some body work on it. Uh, I know John Wright chromed it. So we did. We have a little history of this car. It goes way back, probably 15 years or so. Um, looks like Mark's taking pretty decent care of it. So. But the hotel life, I think, is really what it's all about. Did you get a chance to actually have some good conversation? Uh, Jeff Smith and I were visiting, and he said one of the coolest lines I've ever heard. He said, sometimes guys build the soul out of the car. you got to think that over. I was thinking about it all last night, and uh, we are privileged to do a pick. And uh, I didn't know these people, but uh, the scale of the car rods on the side of it, I had to ask 
who are you? And uh, we have a good friend that passed away years ago. He's a good Christian friend of mine. And uh, he bought the, the Roman chassis from Carl and uh, built the Carl, uh, car I think that Carl would have loved. Carl never made it out here. He's a strong Christian. He's here watching us today. And I want to give a big applause. And he were a custom club. But we recognize a good hot rod when it's built right. And uh, I have to look to see who you are because I don't know you. You're not a friend of mine yet. You are now. It's uh, Scott Melinda Kerfield from uh, way over past Kansas, Minnesota. <laughs> Great job. Beautiful job. Scout, Carl Skownick was friends to a lot of us, and that's a great tribute. Appreciate you. Go, go behind you here for. McCullough Family. They made the pick. Marcus got the ball. Here you go. Try to get Dallas and his wife here a few years back, and it didn't work out. I think probably because the storm, hurricane, kept you down in Florida. So when he told us he wanted to come back this year, I, we were all in. If you haven't seen this car in this interior, it's fantastic. It fits the owners. If they would get out, Dallas, Jessica, get out. That's right. Listen. We all want to have that style, right? And well, this she totally couple, fits it. She totally fits it. <laughs> this couple and this car is just perfect. So you guys killed it. Thank, thank you so much. much. Yeah, thank you. So you guys much are the much. champ this year. Yeah, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Really appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Sloniker winners, Riddler winners, AMBR winners, Hot Rod of the Year winners. They're all here, quality, but they're all traditionally styled cars. Um, so anyway, we 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 uh, we rode around, walked around, trying to narrow it down. And uh, ever since I first saw Brian's Woody come out on Instagram, I started seeing him post. I just fell in love with it. The colors are amazing. The restraint on the build is amazing. It's very traditional, but it's got all kinds of beautiful little details. And uh, so we were looking around, we had a few we were looking at. But at the end of the afternoon, it's, it's kind of crazy how things line up. If you look at my creeper, our creeper that we built, the chassis is the, almost the same color as his car. The wood matches beautifully, and I didn't, I had no idea that we were going to pick this car. Like, this just happened today. And it's kind of big enough, you need somebody that can hold the thing. So, he's, he's, got, he's got to pack that down as well. So, anyway, uh, this is Casey. He works at the shop. He's a beautiful, wonderful metal, metal shaper. Helped me with the fenders. It was a, just a wild idea earlier in the year that... Uh, we spent too much time on, but we were happy to. And I think, you know, we sort of helped create this monster in the beginning, so we thought, well, we better participate. And uh, thank you, John, for the buckle. That means... You guys did all the hard work. That, that means the world. But anyway, with all that being said, this Brian Bluch, is that pronounced right? Close enough. Close enough. It's a beautiful 36 Woody. They traveled a long way from Washington, and they get the Hot Rod Garage pick this year.
incredible experience. Can't say enough about this. It's absolutely worth the drive, and we're going to be back. Good. And you've been telling us, and Keith has been telling us, and our freight, excuse me, I'm wound up here, but everybody's been saying what a great run this is, and the rhythm of this run is amazing. And as all you guys know, it's not about the cars, it's about the people. Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't be happier, so thank you very much. Here we go. We'll turn this over to Jim and he'll tell you all about it. First, I want to say thanks to uh, Jim I'm Jeff from Ready Custom Rods. We're honored to be given the opportunity to give an award for a custom pick based on what we would like in our garages. <clears throat> our pick is 471, Steve Pearson's 42, all the way from California. Next one up, where is Jim Smith? There you are. You coming up here? You're sitting down there. He's found a comfortable spot. He's going to stay right there. So my dad, as you most of you guys know, Jim Smith, and he has done uh, the war every year called Survivor Award. Survivor Award, I think he's done it both ways in the years we've been doing this, and then he's given it a couple of times, cars that are true survivors, and uh, dad, dad really liked it, I really liked it, and uh, this guy's Bill Venter, from Arizona, I can honestly say he's a hot rod hero, and uh, dad looked his car over, the car was done in 66, uh, Finished in 66. Finished in 66. This car has a chrome frame under it. It has a chrome firewall in it. They cut the firewall out and chromed it and bolted it back in. It's got an old engine. The entire undercarriage is chrome. I saw his sign down there. It said the chrome bill was like seven grand in 66. It was a lot. It's like two or three new cars worth of chrome. Kevin from Bull Rock. It's Kevin here. Here he comes. So I want to introduce you guys to Kevin. He is the CEO of this wonderful place. So Kevin came on board here two years ago as a CEO. Fantastic. Sure. And, uh, you know, I can keep it for you if you like. <laughs> okay. okay. This incredible show art that we had this year came from this man. Uh, we're so thankful for all that he does, the support that he gives us, and he makes it all the You'll get a painting of your car uh, in some fashion, uh, but it will take me a damn year to get it done. So <laughs> come back next year and you can get it. Congrats, that car is stunning. I don't know if you want Thanks to make that trip out. Thank you, man. Thank okay. you very much. Let's see who we got coming up next. You want to hold it? Or I'll let these guys take a pick and uh, get the trophy. And I need Mr. John Wright. Looks like you're up next, buddy. Yeah, he just holds that one get forward. So let me tell you, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Mr. John Wright. 
still coming. And uh, that was uh, system, uh, uh, system uh, 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 He found somebody that would do the milling, and after the milling was done, they sent it all to me, and we did the plating on the plating part, and there it is. That's awesome. I looked at this car and all these various light and uh, this morning when I was looking at it over there as the sun is changing this hot spots come up through the buffalo. Hopefully they still do it. But uh, let him get out here and get the shut off and then I'll let him say about it. I was informed a while ago that this is Bill and Jerry's 60th wedding anniversary today. Yay! Yeah. 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 So, for you guys that know John, he's a hot rodder through and through, but he's also quite an aircraft guy, and he's an aircraft enthusiast, particularly vintage aircraft. And so, if you look at this beautiful award he's built here, I'm going to let you tell him, let him tell you about this, and then I'm going to let you let him tell you about the car that he'll be uh, presenting this trophy to, and then informing Mr. Scott Williams that you get to build a trophy for next year. So here's John. Try to sleep on that one, buddy. <laughs> I had to follow a cowboy hat made out of aluminum, you know. Okay, while they are taking a picture, we don't always do this. I have a double award winner, but sometimes it just works out this way. So, uh, Scott, thank you for coming, and uh, no pressure, but you got to build a pretty awesome trophy for next year. But with that being said, uh, Bill Ganal is here from South City Rod and Custom, and he gave his pick, and uh, I'm going to let him tell you about it. Because there's quite a bit to tell. I don't, I don't know why you saved this one for last, because this is <laughs> going to be a uh, crazy exclamation point to this show. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to explain the award first because it needs some explaining. Um, this is the turd of perpetual polish. Um, so we, this is actually, so Kobe and I, Kobe with uh, the coop, the crazy stripe coop that went by, we both uh, uh, came up with this together. I think it was really Kobe's idea. Uh, this is a turd made out of pure magnesium 
Uh, and it's going to tarnish very quickly, as all of us hot rodders know. And you're going to have to polish it for the rest of your life. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Uh, I do want to explain that uh, this is in no way uh, a negative award. We're, Kobe and I are both thinking about our dads. Uh, we both lost our dads um, within the past couple of years through building his coop together. And uh, our dads were not uh, ones to give out uh, praise, at least not to us, directly. Uh, so we wanted an award that was kind of a half compliment. <laughs> But we're giving this with absolute love. Uh, this doesn't mean that uh, your car is a piece of number two. It means that your car is the shit. families uh, for allowing us to to spend a beautiful weekend in a beautiful facility and uh, I thank all y'all who came well it's been a wonderful over-the-top epic whatever other adjective I could come up with weekend I mean we, the weather you guys were so nice, so complimentary, so wonderful. The, the, the drive, uh, the facilities here, I mean, it's just incredible. Thank you guys for coming. We're going we're gonna to just get ready for next year, starting tomorrow. Maybe a couple days. Maybe we'll take a couple days off. Yeah, we, need, we need a break. We'll need a little break. Until Monday. All right. Now he gets up here and he wants to say something. All right. There you go. So listen, guys. I've stayed away from the mic because I'm taken back by this whole thing. I may get emotional to talk about it. We've done this for 365 days, working our tails off for this right here. And to see this, man, with these cars and these people in this facility, it's amazing. See those cars coming up, and all you guys gathered around and just everybody loving each other, it, it's fantastic. I mean, I don't even know what to say. So, I mean, we're gonna do it again next year. We've heard nothing but great things, so let's just keep doing what we're doing, right, Jason? That's right. So here's the thing, October 12th, That's right. next year. 2024. Number five, October 12th, put on your calendar. Woo. Let's see what we can do this thing going, guys. Anything, Jason? Closing? I'm just blown away. It's incredible. On it, on it, on the yeah. Thank you. Thank
to give you my best, uh, since we're from Tampa, I'll give you my best <laughs> Hulk Hogan. You can just wear that to one of the clubs in Tampa, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, brother. Awesome. That's Yeah, I tried to find you and I couldn't find you, so. But yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't blame you. No worries. Yeah. So I go to the lab and you get it. I'm too sure to go. Alright. No worries. Alright, let me find Go to Minnesota already.
see you tonight. Yes, sir. This is by far my favorite car of the show. For anybody asks. Hard to believe it's not a Riviera, but it is a custom. Thing is beautiful. I would definitely take the keys of this one.